<laughs> oh, wow. Okay, you're live. You're live. Well, hello there, people. Hi, everyone. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, that's your phone. Where's her phone? Have we got that's... her phone going live? Ready. Your it phone, said, it, um, bing, the bing, phone bing. gave me a message. It said, Randy Vera is live now. What? You could go and watch it. But I don't know why you're here. You're live. Made. <laughs> yeah, you're a live studio audience, kid. Is it working? No, you go to the video. No, I was looking at somebody's dog. Oh, I know. It's a good looking dog. I'm looking at our video. I think we're live. <laughs> Perfect. Phil Curse is watching. Randy, Randy. Sir Ship. Yeah, um, yeah. I don't want to remember your name. Sir Sir, Sir, Sir Jamie's Sir watching. Nice. I like Burn that. <laughs> Sir Chirpalot, baby. What's up, Kevin? Carson. Carson's uh, gone. That's for you and your mother. Sorry, sorry to, to bother you. Sorry, brother. You know. um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're speaking gibberish. Carson's thank you, free. thank you, Carson. I appreciate that. Um. Yeah. Had a little mix up today. Uh, I guess if we're live, um, had had a little mix up this week. Mom was out at the arena. My mom. Uh, before. Wild. Yeah. <laughs> Before she was a, a, a police officer for 31 years, she uh, she was a uh, barrel racer, and uh, you know she, she's been a cowgirl her whole life. She's had horses. You know she's 65. She's had horses since she was 10 years old, um, and she got bucked off Monday night. And I kind of told everybody, "Hey guys, give me some room." And um, oh, it is. <laughs> It's like, where the hell is the noise coming from? Yeah, he's in stereo. Because I, I could barely hear it. It sounded like it was coming from over there. It's like... <laughs> anyway, um, so for all the people that reached out, and, uh, you know, I, I, I never air my personal family business on Facebook, but I used it on Facebook and posted that my mom got bucked off to kind of tell everybody, hey, man, give me, I, I can't do it right now, dude. Just, just so time out. off with the question. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, and I want to clear up real quick. Um before we get into this tonight, uh, you know, I guess I must have said something in the last week or two on the internet that has led several people across the country to think that I'm getting out of NPRC, um, and that's not happening. So, um, what I am, what I what I meant by, I don't even remember what I posted, but what I I do remember what I meant by that posting um, was just that I, I need to tone it down a notch, you guys. I mean, I've been. We take anywhere from fifty to a hundred. I kid you not. Question. Well, let's say let's say thirty to a hundred questions on any given day, every single day, seven days a week, for the last six months, and it's just been a lot of work. And I just I, I need to scale it back because it's it's really as much as I love helping people, and I'm going to continue to help people uh, in any area of the sport, or not even RC cars with whatever. I'm I'm that kind of guy, but. Um, I think I kind of just, uh, I got uh, drowned a little bit in it all, and it took some of the fun away, so I'm just going to kind of scale down and just worry about, you know, my my, my, my race schedule, um, and, you know, if you guys reach out and you got um, questions, I'm, you know, I'm still available to answer, you know, things with my mom have smoothed out, and, you know, with work and this and the RC stuff and the questions, the mom on top of it was just, my mom fought, getting bucked off a horse was just... It was just too much. It was my, my, my boiling over point. So I had to take a break from the questions. And I've gotten to a couple guys in the last day or two. Um, so sorry for the inconvenience. And I still we, we still want to help you guys and stuff like that. But you guys got to remember, we got other stuff going on too. Um, and um, uh, I really think... House. What's that? So I'm in the middle of selling a house. so Yeah, I mean, we, we, all, we all live in life here. So um, with that being said, I think what we're going to do is we'll announce it when it's done, but I think we're going to open up the 707 Streetcars message board directly on the site. So if someone's got a question about setup or tune or gearing or whatever that we haven't covered, because like I said, there's so many questions that if you if you get a hold of me and you ask me something that we've covered in, in 19 episodes, I'm going to refer you first back to, back to the episodes. That's why we did it. So... Um, but I think I'm going to open the message board, and that way we can share the responsibility. Because believe me, everybody here 
uh, all three of us have, you know, we get hammered all the time. Um, I, I don't know if these guys are, I, I, I don't think these guys are getting hammered like I do. Um, but I, I get hammered with a lot of questions, which I love. I love to help all you guys. I don't think I haven't not gotten back to anybody. There was a couple days where I, I think I returned all the, all the messages. So if I haven't, uh, and you're watching this, get a hold of me. Um, but let's get into this. Um, welcome to episode. Shook it up. Oh, give me a knife. <laughs> yeah, sure. After I saw you do that, you do it. Why didn't Daddy. you do that to the chair? Daddy. That's, oh my god. Oh my. Daddy, episode. Do you want me to just get you yeah. a bottle opener? Yeah, give me a bottle opener. Where are they? Where That's a good top. I can usually bust those right off. Okay. Does it have a bottle opener? Oh! Oh! <laughs> Daddy. Hold Daddy. on. Daddy. We're good. Oh. Yep. Um, Emma, Emma, just chill for a minute. So, I saw you had it on. I'd like to welcome everybody. To episode 20 of NPRC Talk here with 707 Streetcars. So, I don't drink. Randy's all sniffing it. Um, for legs. Not because I ever had a problem with it, but because I just don't like the taste of alcohol. I'd rather have a ginger ale. Alcohol tastes like shit to me. Excuse my language, but 20 episodes, I'm allowed a couple of swear words, okay? <laughs> it's been a lot of work. Here you go, Jamie. Thank you, sir. So, um, I'm your host, Daniel Judd. As always, welcome to episode 20 of NPRC Talk with 707 Streetcars. Um, as, uh, as always, I have one of my co-hosts here, Randy Vieira. Ricky's not with us. Ricky actually headed to the Vegas race. Um, and I'm just... Reno. Uh, or Reno, Reno. I'm about to say, if you yeah, Vegas, sorry. screw he's, him. He's getting the head start on that Vegas race. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, with everything that went on this week, I mean, it was kind of a no-brainer. Um, I just, I wasn't going to go. Um, and this is episode 20, and it's been a lot of work. Um, we've made a lot of friends. Um, we were able two weeks ago to put some names to these friends. Uh, what? Matt Kidd, you're a Ford guy. You've tasted worse. Well, you're from, coming from a guy that drinks <laughs> White Claw, right? <laughs> it got dark for a second there. It goes. Yeah, how's that White Claw taste, Sarah? <laughs> um, anyway, so let's get a cheers to 707 Streetcars, episode 20, dude. It's, it's, been, a, it's been a really dun, fun dun. run. Boop, boop. Uh, Ricky, if you're watching right now, um, I got one more left in here for you, but it'll probably be gone by the time you get back. <laughs> it's a long ride. It's going to be um, flat. I hope uh, Rick, just, Rick went to Reno just to kind of check it out and see how many people are running. I know he's got some family stuff that he wants to, you know, they want to go, uh, I don't know if they're going to go to the river or, or, or go do something in Reno or see family or what, but... Um, he he had been meaning to get to Reno anyway because I know that they, I think he's got family. I know his sisters in. His sisters in Vegas. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. But I knew he said something about you know, maybe he just met with his family. You know, um, but either way, we hope that Rick and uh, Janelle and the kids have a uh, a safe trip. Um, and Rick couldn't uh, join us here tonight, um, but he will be back soon. So, um, we went to uh, Sacramento. La, uh, two weekends ago? Two weekends ago? This was last weekend. Was it last weekend? Yeah. Okay, see, that's, that's, how, that's how long of a freaking week this has been. Um, and uh, the ghost ran really good. Uh, my car, I will I'll admit it, I got my ass handed to me in a couple races. Um, I was struggling with some tire problems, and uh, where's that body? Give me that body right there, that Mustang body. Oh, ow. Um... And, you know, coming from a guy that's spinning so much RPM and all of a sudden started using some newer stuff a couple months ago and immediately the tires and foams that I've always run all of a sudden weren't enough and I was splitting them. In the last list race, I mean, I almost, uh, let me put it this way, there's four races in the list race. I fended my, 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 my first place spot off all day long except for one race. I got beaten one race because a, God, a gosh darn foam came apart. Um, and everybody knows that brrr, that flutter sound that a broken phone makes. Well, when I went to race these Sacramento guys, I started hearing it. I was like, well, I'll check the phones when I get back because I'm I switched to, to new phones and and I couldn't feel any breaks. And was uh, that good? 
all in all, I, I have all what happened in Sacramento figured out now, and it's all fixed. But anyway, I couldn't figure it out. I was getting the fluttering sound like I would have broken foams, and there were no broken foams. And then towards the end of the day, I started inspecting the car more. And as you can see, the burn marks in the body. I mean, there was a oh, little oh, oh. scuff in the paint, but that's just... That's I mean, a hole. And, the, and the mark just isn't here in the fender anymore. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> um, it's actually made its way all the way to the roof line back here. Um, so I got, I had some stuff going on, um, and it cost me some races with some out of town guys because the car felt sluggish. It felt like it was towing another car the whole weekend. So, um, but we met a lot of nice guys. There's a lot of guys in the Sacramento that are really, really fast. Um, and it was really cool to go out and, and, and meet, uh, Mike Cesar and Will and uh, a bunch of guys here that are fellow MPRC, uh, racers in the, uh, the Golden State. Um, and uh, we had a really good time. I was actually greeted. We were lured in. This is funny. For for those of you who don't know, we had uh, Sacramento guys going to do a test and tune day last weekend. And that's when we went out there. But the previous week, um, they when they announced they were going to have a big test and tune day, somebody had baited. Was there, was there a 12 pack there of ginger? Hell I'll get to that. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get to that. So um, somebody had said, we're having a test and tune day. I hope a certain group of people show up or something like that. And it was a picture the picture in the post was of a 12 pack of ginger ale. And I was like, ginger ale? <laughs> so uh, of course we had to go, you know, it's, it's only a, an hour and a half, two hour drive for us. And uh, so we went out to Sacramento and we weren't there for five minutes and we had two different guys come up. I actually, I feel bad at the gentlemen that are watching. Uh, I, I thank you guys again for, for walking up to our pits and just starting in it as 12 packs of ginger ale. Um, <laughs> that was really awesome for me. I mean, it was, it was just like, you know, to, it's one thing to hear that you're known somewhere or this and that, but when you go somewhere else and they're like, hey, that's a damn guy, I'm going to give him some ginger ale. That was just like, I was, that was like, that was like signing an autograph for me. I was like, this guy just gave me ginger ale. Um, so, uh, I got some ginger ale and, and, and better than the ginger ale, I got to meet some really, really cool cats I'm really proud of that I live so close to. Um, guys that are, are really figuring it out. Um, I know that a lot of the guys that were there, um, that were running really good um, were guys that have been following the 707 streetcars and what I started out to do here uh, a long time ago. Um, and and they have just hit home runs with, with that technology and, and they're even taking that technology and then veering it off and making new tree branches on that tree. Um, and I think that's just really cool that you know the sport is constantly evolving. Um, and as much as old dinosaurs like me don't like change sometimes, um, you know, change is inevitable and change can be for the better. So, um, you know, there's a lot of new stuff coming out. Um, you know, here I am a veteran RC guy. I've probably gone through $15,000 worth of tires in the last three years. Um, and, and I'm still trying to figure out the tire game because I'm, I'm making more power now. Um, and uh, yeah, so either way, we, we, we had a lot of fun in Sacramento. We, we, met, we met a lot of cool cats. Um, and it was really awesome. Uh, Randy here was up uh, at a at a friend's <laughs> wedding in Oregon. Bend, Oregon. <laughs> Bend, Oregon. Um, up in the high high desert. And he started sending me some pictures, and this place was just so freaking beautiful. Um, just the waterfalls and the rivers and the mountains and the pines, and um, it was really really gorgeous. So as much as we we miss Randy, I knew he was having the the time of his life, and I want all my buddies to go out and experience anything they can in life. So. Um, I want to give a huge shout out first and foremost to uh, the men and women uh, in law enforcement, um, fire, medical, um, just the uh, the back and bone, uh, you know, heroes that keep the nation working, whether whether they're getting stoned or not. So um, I want to give a shout out to the biggest S talker in the business, Mr. Paul Peterson. <laughs> if Paul's watching, Paul, we love you. Um, Paul actually is one of my, one of my, oh, there we go. Ricky's on. Ricky's on. Ricky's gone. I didn't notice. Yeah. <laughs> um, Paul is not only one of our sponsors for Sharp RC Bodies, um, but they are, uh, Paul is also a buddy of mine now, uh, through the whole shark thing and what happened. I, I feel like I, I made a good friend. Um, and, and he actually caught wind of the rumor that I was leaving NPR and that's not I'm RC for life I mean when you got a remote control car tattooed on your arm you just you just don't get out of it you You're know dedicated. Um, I've been in it since 86 ish 86 87 um, and 
and I'll be I'll be running these dumb cars until until I'm probably in a wheelchair at 82 or something, you know. Um, as far as leaving NPRC, that's that's not on the it's not on the plate. Um, I myself am also constantly evolving technology, uh, sometimes ahead of more people, um, due to the fact that I'm I'm working hand in hand with some of these companies like Phantom. You know we. He says, you know, what tweaks do you want? We tell him what we want to do. We make some motors, and then next thing you know, I mean, we have a motor that nobody's got, um, and, and 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 that happens in a lot of different arenas. Um, and and I personally think, I think there's some, I think there's some people out there making some really really good stuff, especially compared to this time last year as far as tire technology. Um, I think that the the tire stuff is really starting to pick up speed now. Um, but I still don't. I still not convinced that that anybody makes a perfect tire for this. Um, and and that's where I'm at with the RPM and the amp draw on my cars. And I'm starting to surpass the the tire technology. So I'm starting to, you know, again, I'm a dinosaur. I don't like change, especially when something has consistently worked over and over. And it's always nobody else wanted to use it, so it was always an advantage I had because they didn't understand how to use it. Was the tire tech. Um, and now, now that the cars are getting faster, the tires, you know, are, are slowly starting to evolve. But I don't think the the evolution of the tire in this game is 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 keeping up with how fast the cars are going. So uh, for every one notch it goes up, the cars going faster goes up three or four notches. They do not have the mariachi band tonight, dude. They're gonna keep me up all night. I know. I got the neighbor looking over the fence. So I'm just guessing it is. Yeah. So <laughs> anyway. Big shout out to uh, Paul Peterson. I know he's watching Shark Bodies. Um, if you're looking for oh. a drag body, you want something a little bit more aero, something a little bit more modern, um, something a little bit more cutting edge, uh, check out uh, sharkrcbodies.com. Oh. Randy, come here. Ricky's trying to join yeah, in. Just click and... No, but there's a thing right here. Do I press that? I don't know. Hello, Ricky's trying to join. It's your phone. Sorry. Right there. Is that what I click? I'm letting you click it so I don't break it. Click it. Click. Yeah, approve. Dun, dun. How does that work? Does it we'll find out. I, yeah, maybe put I a little screen in screen. I love you too, Emma. They were Where trying to watching? add you, Ricky. Oh. So Rick is in Reno, Nevada. Says it's adding. And he's being added to. Says adding on the screen. Oh, connecting. Here we go. Screen. <laughs> Just kidding. He's gone. <laughs> oh, he's off. Okay. Are we still? Because this. It's just You're live. Okay. Yep. All of a sudden he's going to disappear. Yeah, boom. Okay. Oh, no. If he tries to add back, I'll try to add him back, but he probably doesn't have service where he's at. Okay. So let's, st let's. I was static. <laughs> it was static. Oh, oh. Right. You're good. I'm totally off. Emma's being the camera woman. He said, um, I was static. Headset would fix the sound, yeah. Well, we weren't we weren't planning on that. Um, anyway, let me finish my shout outs. Uh, Paul Peterson and Shark RC Bodies. If you're just getting into it or you want you want something different, go check out uh, sharkrcbodies.com um, or uh, Shark RC Bodies on Facebook, or reach out to Paul Peterson and get you one of these bodies. Um, yeah, supposedly that guy's gonna make a uh, Monte Carlo body. Who's that? This guy. Paul. Paul Wong. That's what I heard. Monte Carlo body. Well, the Monte Carlo. All I hear, Paul. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, Paul actually just invested in a second body machine, and he's going to be double or tripling uh, production oh, soon. Um, and I, I think that, you know, the 707 uh, streetcar is bringing some of his designs over to the NPRC. I'd like to think that a lot of that helped, um, oh. you know, that as far as sales and stuff. And it just it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Kids into it, and we're doing this for the right reasons. Um, and we're all backs, um, you know, then it's, it's going to get bigger and bigger. And bigger. And I've been trying to say that for a long time. That's what, you know kind of pissed me off about certain people that they weren't into that. And I think that's the only way to grow the sport is just to band together as an RC community. So anyway, um, um, Paul also does a lot of dirt oval stuff. Um, and uh, if you, if you run street stock or, um, or late model or, you know, you're looking for some, again, some newer designs that are just cutting edge and it's not the same old saying, you know, you go out to the Friday night, quarter or a half mile dirt oval here and everybody's running the same car they've been running for the last 20 years so if you want something that's different uh and kind of a, a step ahead in dirt oval as, as and as well as nprc uh uh no prep uh i personally i would i would suggest a shark body um stuff's gonna happen that's all i'm gonna say stuff's I'll gonna happen interrupt you for real quick uh, we got uh hey, hey jr uh Corrado. Uh, he's with, uh, he gave us, I forgot it, but he gave us a big box of goodies for the, uh, St. Jude's, Jude's okay. Race so we can, and that's so JR, JR Corrado. Thank you very much, JR. It's, uh, um, that JR, means a lot to us. Kick myself in the ass for not bringing them, but it's a big, big box of, uh, fan mounts, 3D printed, self designs his company. And all this stuff is for the associated cars, yes, right? Yes, yes. Okay. It's, uh, so associated to the top of the back of the transmission that you can bolt a 30 millimeter fan to it to cool off the back of your can. Okay. It's all, he also has a relocation mount that bolts in over the top in front of the rear tower over the top of the battery to center your, uh, your ESC in the middle. Hey, JR, not only thank you, but reach out to me personally. I'd like to buy one of the fan mounts. I just got ordered one of the, I don't even know what it's called. A DB 10 reflex. I want to go do some, I want to go do some sand drags and I'm going to start with an associated car. Um, and, uh, and I really, really, the first thing before I even go run it, cause I'm going to blow through three S through it, um, is I want to get a fan mount on the motor. So, yeah. um, this guy's obviously, you know, not only, not only nice enough to, uh, to reach out to us and send us a bunch of free products for the St. Jude's raffle at, um, uh, at, at race wars coming up in September. Uh, but he's also sounds like he's making some cutting edge stuff that he's trying new stuff that other people haven't done yet. Uh, and this is all for the associated stuff. You guys, there's a couple in the box. He gave, he had sent two uh, SC six mounts too. I don't know exactly. I didn't look at them too much because I don't have an SC six. I have a base SC six base bar, but not an SC six chassis car. That okay. It has a, I believe it might be a fan mount or an ESC mount. Okay. But yeah, they're, they, they look nice too. It has a, a little design, has a little logo in the middle of the, of the ESC mount. Everything looks good. It looks good. looks solid. doesn't look to it get it up like off it, the chassis and, and, yeah. and equalize the chassis is, is what basically what you're doing. Cause it, technically you're raising the center of gravity by putting it over the battery, yeah, lift your weight. but you're still doing it in a better way because just to get that weight off of one side yeah. of the car, it's, it's going to, it's going to make, it's going to equalize the chassis. It's going to be a neutral right. chassis. Um, so thank you, JR. Um, uh, uh, yeah, like I said, reach out to me, brother, as to where I can get, I can get more information on the next show or if you can do it right now. Um, RC, uh, was it uh, stealth designs with a Z? Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to be ordering one of those, those, uh, yeah, because I want a fan on the back of my car. If you yeah, make cool, some tail the you know? the transmission. The hangs <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I'll support, his, I'll support his business, dude. Um, so thank you again, JR. I really appreciate it. Um, I want to give a shout out to Troy Schroeder at Phantom, Phantom RC Products. A lot of you by now know, if you don't, uh, uh, Phantom RC Products has been around for 30 plus years. Um, they make some of the highest quality uh, uh, motors and, and batteries and stuff like that, uh, uh, power supplies charging leads. I mean, they make all kinds of stuff. that's just top notch stuff. It's all I run. Um, and it's really, really good stuff. Um, I also want to give a shout out to Steve at R1 works. You know, I switched from, you know, I was hobby wing, hobby wing, hobby wing for two years. And I did a lot. I won hundreds, hundreds and hundreds of races with that speed control. But I got to the point to where I felt like I was pushing the XR 10 to the, to the max. And it got to the point to where I was, cause I was popping one every other time. Then I had a close buddy of mine, Matt, Matt kid, uh, who's also a, a pro racer, um, he reached out and he's all, dude, just, just 
ask him about this R1 stuff, but to do that, I had to do it legally. Um, and that's when I had to, to do that. I wanted, if I was to do it, I wanted to do it right. So um, I, I reached out to my, uh, my consultant at Hobby Wing and I said, look, I've been with you guys for two years. This isn't working out for me. Um, and he said, no problem. Go do what you want to do. So um, I started using R1 Digital 3s. And a lot of people, I'm probably talking like 50 or 60 people already I've seen in the last two months since I did it or whatever, um, have taken note of that. And there's a couple people that have been hesitant. And they're like, you know, I, I don't know you know, if it's worth the hype. Or maybe I bought one to see if it was worth the hype. And I haven't heard one negative thing about anybody going, yeah, I bought that thing. I just couldn't make it work. It's just a, it's just a better speed control. There's, um, I know Tekin is getting ready to try some new stuff. Ricky said he just, Ricky just posted that he got there right there. I got all my new Tekins today. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I think uh, Ty and, and Ricky are, are trying some new stuff with, with, with Tekin. We got some prototype stuff for him coming down and that's his thing or what, I don't know what it is. Um, so don't, don't, don't put me uh... <laughs> on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> what I was saying, oh, the digital three. Um, <laughs> you guys, if you have a couple hundred bucks and you want to just have a higher amp rating than any that has, uh, it has, it has tuning capabilities that I, I believe personally, my opinion is that they're second to none. Um, and what I've been able to do with it over the hobby wing and still have more left. I'm at a point where I still have 40 more percent power to throw in the car, but I can't, I, the car can't handle it. Um, in my car, I have, you know, a lot of you first and foremost know me as a superb chassis builder, suspension and chassis. That's my, I mean, I, I, you know, I know this and I'm really good with that. And I know that and I've been using that for years, but the chassis, the, 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 the chassis setup is, is, is what I'm known for. Um, and 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 these chassis you can lean on them you can lean on them really hard and and that's where we're hitting the we're surpassing the technology of the tires because the tires is you know like they say you can have a, a a huey bell engine out of a helicopter in a car it doesn't matter if you can't get to the ground it's, it's useless you might as well be a, a tricycle so um hopefully the new stuff that i'm trying now is is going to be uh better in the tire tech world and we get more of that power to the ground and even the power i am getting to the ground is still more than i was doing with the with the hobby wing and the hobby wing is really really good speed control i would never knock hobby wing the xr10 pro is a phenomenal speed control um but if you want a, a no holds bar uh balls to the wall speed control that'll handle anything extra you put at it um you know go go, go check out uh, uh r1 works so uh, i want to give a shout out to um Mike Carvalho at Flash Packs, uh, Flash Pack Cat Packs. If you don't have one or you just get into it, uh, go get yourself a, a cat pack from, from Milo over at Flash Packs. Um, Steve Negri of RCRI, uh, RC Racing Innovations, uh, chassis. Uh, he makes all kinds of stuff as far as chassis works go. A lot of you know who, who, uh, who he is. Um, they do a lot of solid axle, like the the pro mod we had on and stuff like that. They got a motorcycle kit that's a drag I want motorcycle. One motorcycle. I want one of the motorcycles too. The, if there dope. were more people doing it, I would buy one. But I don't want to be the only one with motorcycle. The rear tire is like Why? one tire yeah. off of my 10L. Yeah. It's badass, yeah. Huge. So anyway, um, and then also I want to remind everybody to, uh, especially right now with all the bull crap that's going on in the world, remember to shop local, keep those, those, because it, you know, you guys, at the end of the day, it isn't going to be the tower hobbies or the A main that shuts down because of COVID screwed us all. Um, it's, 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 it's pop shops um, that are, are, are a dying breed that if you're lucky to have one of these shops in your neighborhood, um, then awesome. A lot of people don't. Um, and, and if you don't, and you're looking to still support a small shop, um, I suggest reaching out to Jake's perform Jake at Jake's performance hobbies, along with his, uh, the guys that work there, uh, Tim and Hunter. Um, and, uh, and you can reach out to them Tuesday through Saturday, 11 to five, uh, at 707-586-3375. And he ships the lower 48 and he's got all your drag racing goodies. So, um, This stuff's really good, but it makes my lips sticky. You got really good pricing too. Really competitive. Yeah, I really will say if you find something all over the internet for three nineteen, and you can get it from A Main or one of the bigger ones that has the lower prices for two ninety nine, you walk into Jake's, it's two eighty nine. You know, Jake always has better prices. Um, so it's just, it's just, it's just worth it. I, I, you know, I, I go in there and I.
that I can. There's some stuff that is either custom that I get directly from my sponsors, um, or or it's a, a brand that, that Jake might not, you know what I'm saying, deal with. Um, and there's nothing I can do about that. Um, but as far as like you know everyday parts, building a car, um, that's that's where I go. I go to Jake's Performance Hobbies in Rona Park, California, seven zero seven five eight six three three seven five. Yeah, other than it's your the RCRI. hardest shop to be. Other than your RCRI <laughs> bars, there every package has a Jake's. Yeah, this is it. all about a Jake's, <laughs> which kind of gets me into what we're going to talk about tonight. Um, this is going to be a short show, guys. Uh, we all got a lot of stuff going on. Um, you know, anybody knows that you can take a stock DR10 and change the gearing, change the tires, and um, you can. Uh, you can, you know, buy a, a stock slash and with the right advice and the right tuning and the right parts um, inside of that stock slash, you can make it damn near list worthy. You know, um, we, I have a certain formula that, I mean, the gunslinger, the ghost, um, Ricky's car, whatever. I forget what he called it. Um, I forget the name really? of it. Huh? Well, it was the fan. Oh, yeah. The fan, it's the phantom car. Yeah. He needs to get some, some stickers made for it. Um, maybe I'll get some some decals made for it. Um, and uh, it's it's a basic formula, and I've had a lot of people reach out, and some pull the trigger, and some don't want to put that kind of money into it. And if you don't want it, that's okay, because um, you can go get a, a DR10 or or a stock slash low center of gravity truck, and and be pretty darn competitive and build. Maybe 85% max build. There's a little bit more I could get into this as far as lightweight stuff. Um, but I also, again, I've, I've, in my other videos, I've, I've explained why you don't want the cars too light. And you want to leave weight in some areas of the cars. and some areas of the cars, you want to lighten up. Um, this is going to be a high dollar build with one of a you know custom soldered speed controls with a tune in it um, and, and, a, and a motor that I'm going to tune. Um, this is a chassis that I, I bought, you know, full price from, uh, from RCRI and it's, and it's just, I mean, everything you can see here is, is all just bought locally. Um, and it's, and it's, I've done this so many times, I've probably built 15 or 20 of these cars that I use the same parts every time. And every time we put it down on the ground, we'd spend about four or five minutes tuning it and boom, it's just a winner. So, um, you can attest to that. Ricky's one person that really jumped on and started listening to me when he got into this. And, um, and in all their base after my design, uh, or what I, not my design, but what I should say my formula um, for my stew that I'm brewing here. And, um, and every car he owns has the, you know, and it was all based off of the ghost. Uh, so the Phantom car, Chase's car, hell, even Noe's car, they're the same tech, you know. If you go back in my suspension, you know, videos, I know, you know, I, I've tested the, the three different companies that make seven different kinds of rear A arms. There's a reason why I go with the Black Bandit RPM arms. Um, there's a reason why I choose this stuff. So, um you know, I, I've always said I use the STRC bar. I use a Proline Trans. Uh, this has got a Black Widow in it. Um, RPM front arms, carbon fiber front tower. Um, you want aluminum hubs in all four corners, um, especially in the back, because then it makes. And you want a little twist in the a little twist in the arm. But with the plastic ones, this this branch right here for the for the camber link gives it like a lot of twist. So I don't I don't like to use them back uh, back here. Um, uh, the, the, the C carriers here for the front spindle. Um, I leave these plastic because there's, uh, there's really good, as far as tracks and stuff goes, it's, it's very good tolerance stuff. Um, it's nice and tight, but it still moves like it needs to. Um, uh, and it's light. I mean, this is probably a, you know, if I, they make these in aluminum, either energy or, or, or Traxxas and these parts, you know, these two C hubs together are probably like 48 grams, you know, they're not light. So as much as aluminum looks bitching, um, not only is it heavy as hell, but it also, you know, if this arm bends enough right here, when I hit, if I were to hit something or this customer was to hit something, um, and it hit it hard enough to where, uh, it, it would bend an aluminum arm. I'd rather have a plastic one on there and have it break. So I know exactly where it's, 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 you know, you can hit the aluminum arm and not break it and have it bent in an area or in a way that you don't know about. 
And, and next thing you know, you're having problems with the car and the car's all over the place. And it was just dialed before you hit something um, and you don't know where it's at. So, uh, you know, aluminum is also very, very tricky. Uh, it hi likes to hide stuff. So um, I want to I want a part that's going to hold its shape no matter what until it breaks. And when it breaks, it'll get a new one that holds its shape. So um, I just kind of wanted to have an episode where I kind of go over this right here is probably already two and a half, three hours going through the transmission, um, you know, setting all this stuff up, um, you know, polishing, uh, some of the, some of the, the king pins I polish, um, you know, there's, there's little things that I do when I put it back together that a lot of people don't do with their kits, um, that, uh, you know, cleaning the, cleaning the stock grease out of the bearings and, and, and pack, pack and just stuff that most people just don't do their cars. That's what this gentleman's buying. So um, he wanted to have a no holds bar, just all out. Build me what it is you guys are running that is just killing it. You, know? you guys keep talking about in these videos since episode one. Um, and this is this is her right here. This is a, a Black Widow RCRI chassis uh, slash based vehicle. Um, and as you can see, you know, I still got to build the shocks and I got to put the shocks together and I got to build all the tie rods and I got to put the tie rods together. I got to cut the axles down and clean them all up and put those in. And so there's, this isn't just bolt together stuff. I mean, it's meant to be from practice for the vehicle it was made for. Um, but as far as, you know, the, the, the purpose that we're going to use it for, um, it, everything gets modified or tweaked or twisted or drilled out or, you know, a little something. Um, so this is a, like I said, this is a gentleman. He'll have a, an RCRI, you know, full wheelie bar on here. Um, and it'll just be a rocket. So, um, this is actually getting shipped out of country. This is, this is not going to be in the United States. This is for somebody in another country. I don't want to talk about who he is or where he's from or what he paid, but, um, that, that car is, uh, um, it's, it's, it's a one of a kind. I wanted to VIN number all these cars, you know what I'm saying? Um, but uh, we never got around to it. So um, anyway, other than that, um, why don't you walk us, Randy, through the standard NPRC rules that have always been in place uh, since <laughs> the beginning. Um, we're not going to get into, you know, stuff that's been happening or whatever, but I've had a couple people go, hey, um, this is this why we're doing this is, is we've had, a, I've had a couple people this week say, hey, man, I, I got a bunch of guys here and, you know, we're getting kind of confused. And we want to, we want to use the rules you guys are using. Can you just tell me what they are? I can't find them on the internet and I tell them where to go and they still can't find it. So I just, just we're just going to do a little segment and go through the rules um, of, uh, uh, of an NPRC car and what, what the rules need to be to conform to 90% of what people want and are running out there. So take it away, Randy. Uh, standard rules are short course base vehicles between I think 12 and 13 inch wheelbase. Correct. Uh, Wait. Two wheel drive. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> two wheel drive, um, 2S battery, three gear transmission, can't be direct drive. Um, has to be at least three year. It could be more, but it can't be anything less. What about the battery? 2S. 2S okay. only. But eight, four, four. What about a gyro? Can I use a gyro? No. Okay. Um, what if I found these cool airplane wheels for the front of my car that are really light and I want to use them? They're, they're foam tires. Can I use those? No foam tires. Can I use Run a tire only? Okay. Um, All, has to have four functioning shocks. Has to, so I can't, I got to take the tie rods out of my A arms in the front? Yeah. Okay. No um, lockouts. No lockouts. So, um, those are pretty much the rules, guys. A body that covers all four wheels, no gyro, a battery charge at two. That's Rubber a two tires. S. Um, it's a two S charge, no more than eight point four four volts. Um, it has to have all four rubber tires. All four rubber tires again have to be under the body, and both the, the body and the car have to be short course truck length. Uh, it has to have an actual transmission in it, and it has to have four shocks that are working independently of each other that do. Whether it's a different shock or it's a smaller shock or it's a bigger shock, it doesn't matter. Um, it could be an upside down shock, it could be a sideways shock, it could be an aftershock, it could be a, uh, it doesn't matter as long as it has four independently moving shocks that still work in the way the manufacturer designed the vehicle. So, you know what the good thing for me is? is I'm the manufacturer of the vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so. This, this car will actually pertain to all those rules. It's going to have four rubber tires on it when I ship it to them. It'll have four brand new, uh, you know, uh, of the shocks that a lot of the guys, you know, want me to build. And by the way, guys, all the guys, I've had like like 25 people want these shocks that I build. 
um, the parts are just still on back order. We can't get any parts for their shocks right now. So um, I actually, I was able to get the shock bodies that I use, but like the springs and the other things that I, I, I change and tweak in the shocks before I sell them, um, I actually had in stock that I had to give this guy. So um, it, 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 it gets a, a certain formula. It's not just this chassis with this transmission and those A-arms. I mean, there's, there's little things all over the car that, you know, that I'm, I'm, you know, the, the front bulkhead has titanium screws in it. The transmission has steel. There's a reason for that, you know, so, and it has, you know, everything, every nut and bolt has been, you know, pre-calculated on one of these chassis. So um, I just kind of wanted to go, this is sitting here with probably only two thirds of the parts that I'm going to need to finish the car. No wheels, no tires, um, no, no electronics at all, no body, anything. This is still the work I still have to do to this car. So all said and done, um, being just ready to take out of the box, put a body on it and go race. Um, I'll probably have 25 hours into this car. Um, but I take a lot of pride in building them. And, and I just wanted to kind of show, you know, some of the, the other end of the aspect. So if you've just gotten into this and, and you just have a slasher DR10, um, this is the other end of the, 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 the spectrum here um, where, you know, you really, really just just uh, paying attention to, to fine details um, all over the car. Every ball joint, every bearing, um, every nut, every bolt, every piece, um, you know, either ha has a, a reason for existence uh, or has been modified and altered to work a different way. Um, but it, it, it's all it's all uh, pre-calculated. So <laughs> you two would play in with you're playing with that, you're playing with that. <laughs> We're fidgeters. <laughs> you need to get you a fidget spinner. Mm, I see your Schwartz is as big as mine. <laughs> Spaceballs, if you're too young, you might not get that. You might think I'm just a weirdo, but it is in a movie. Um, so is there any questions? Um, again, rules for race wars with ProSpec. ProSpec and DR10, both those classes will be, as far as other than the electronics, uh, as far as the battery and the actual car itself um, will still conform to NPRC rules. So rubber tires, SCT length, um, but the, the, uh, the 12 turn Titan class or the pro spec class, um, the only thing you have to run is you have to run a 12 turn motor and the XL five speed control. Yep, the stock um, speed control. And, and, and that car's, that car's legal. The DR 10 has to have all the stock electronics, everything that it came with, with the gyro off, you can change the tires, the rear tires, rear tires, um, the body, uh, any of the gears in the vehicle, and in uh, the wheelie bar. So, um, and, and if you have all that, and the car still has the stock chassis and the stock shocks and the stock, you know, receiver, servo, radio, everything, that car, that car will pass tech. So. Um, pretty, pretty, you know, we don't, we didn't want to, we made this class, well, we made the class to split into two classes up. Uh, we wanted to keep it as simple and basic for people to go, go wait a minute, dude, this is supposed to be a, a, a really cheap three or $400 class. And here I am just, just, I, I'm pulling my hair out over all these rules. We didn't want to do that. So, uh, we wanted to, uh, to, to keep it easy and simple for the guys, but you got to keep it fair too. So, um, uh, is there anybody out there with any questions? Well, when's the new Proline trans drop? I thought it was supposed to be early July, but I don't know. I heard mid to late July. Oh, mid to late. I heard yeah. early at first, and then that was who awesome. knows? So we'll probably get it in September. I mean, I I don't know, guys. Um, I have no uh, attachments with Proline. I get the stuff that you get off the shelf. I do know um, my new boat is coming in soon. Yeah, Randy <laughs> just bought himself a badass thirty-six boat. inch freaking badassery. Yeah. Um, we do do boats. We like boats. Hopefully it's better. <laughs> Will this be a good time to show off the old shockwave up there? Is it this thing behind me? The white it's one. It's not a shockwave. Oh. Well, well it's a, a thundercat. Is what it's called. It's a boat behind me. Yeah. This stuff's really good. <laughs> really? Bring her on down. Yeah, let's... Uh... <sighs> so I'm pretty proud of this boat. See, and this is what you do. And then you can build yourself a four-wheel drive... Uh... <laughs> If you want a four-wheel drive uh, Black Widow chassis, you know, that's what it's going to look like. Four-wheel drive. Oh. <laughs> Four big mud truck tires. So this oh, here boat, comes Ricky I, again. Every now, and away, then, Ricky. every now and then, I like to, you know, show a little something off that I'm proud of. And this, again, this was just... Can you hear me now? 
Uh, yeah, you're loud. I put some headsets in. Oh, that was what? Uh, yeah. This road sucks. We just... Something about where you're going. Going to hopefully sweep the Reno cash race. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I heard Arizona's on their way up after the Vegas race. What do you got with you? You got chicks? Yep. Who's using? Tell us what's going on. I don't know. What's that? What's going on here? Going on there? Watching the show? I don't know. I'm in the mountains, so I don't know how well my service is. Not very well. No, he's there. You can see his white face. Uh -huh. There he is. Well, hey, uh, good good luck up at the at the Reno race, and uh, I hope you uh, you go to do what we didn't do last week. And last weekend, we were dirty. Um, oh. <laughs> yeah, you're cutting, you're cutting it out. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm out in the middle of I'm out in the middle of freaking nowhere. No, really? So uh again guys, Ricky's headed out to um Reno. He's headed out to Reno, the race in Reno. Um he can do what we go out to these races to do and meet some friends, meet some new people. Um, and uh, luck, and I hope they have a good And he's yeah. pulling a truck. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you ought to get <laughs> off the phone, bro. Because <laughs> that's 100 there, and that's. that's... Yeah, at least give Janelle the phone, dude. The kids want the screen. Alright. Peace. Hey, we wish you luck and we hope you guys have fun and be safe. All right. Love you. All right. Stream, uh, stream some racing. Yeah, yeah, stream some racing tomorrow. I heard, I heard Jeff Mc, I heard Jeff McDowell wants uh Yeah, I don't know. Hey, Ricky. He's gone. Okay. <laughs> no, it's not. Okay, well, Ricky's Ricky's headed up to, to, to. I think we all know Ricky's head to Reno. <laughs> um, oh man. So what we were gonna do is every now and then, you know, not something I bought, but something I kind of built. Uh, I'm kind of proud of. I'm really proud of this boat. This well, boat. You, you bought the boat at one point. Well, the boat is a boat I had 10 or 12 Jeez. years ago. It was my first real boat, and it's called the Thundercat. It's usually got orange and red flames and stuff down the sides. I'm thinking what, a 21 in there or something? Yeah, it had it had a big block nitro motor, and it did very well. Well, I ended up uh, getting in a, I don't know, I split it ways with a girlfriend I was living with, and ended up not using it for a while, and I sold it. Well, about two years ago, I saw one on the internet. Guy went 100 bucks for it. it. Had like no run on it. So, 
Um, I gave him 100 bucks for it. He sent it out to me. It sat here for a year and a half. And about six months ago, me and Ricky and Randy, um, well, I did it. But with their help, you know, um, as far as where to get some, you know, certain special niche marine stuff and stuff, uh, helped me get this thing together. Um, and this is what I mean by what I did to it is we completely gutted and removed the uh, nitro engine and we uh, converted it over to electric. Um, well, these guys, I used to do boats a long time ago and, and, and uh, Randy and Ricky got some boats a couple months back. No, I've had my boat for over a year. Well, anyway, you guys went to go run them. <laughs> and I came out, I immediately, I got hooked again. So um, I was like, yeah, I got that boat at home. So it started, it, it made me kick off the project. I wasn't gonna buy a boat to go run them as much as I wanted to um, when I already had this sit at home. So. Ricky had the Pro Boat UL19, and the thing freaking on, on 6S hauls <laughs> ass. So I actually... That thing's a little scary on 6S. I bought the exact same electronics that come with the Pro Boat um, 120 uh, UL19. Yeah, 100, 100, uh, I think this is the bigger one. 120. Is it the, okay. Well, it's a 120. It does 6S. Uh, it's got a really lumpy uh, in it. Um, and the thing just books. Uh, I keep my batteries over here. It's got all kinds of cooling ports in the thing. Um, it spits a lot of water out the side. Um, and I've just, uh, you know, for something that I bought a couple components and a bunch of glue and some, you know, some pieces too. Ricky says it needs a shark body. It needs a shark. <laughs> I can do that, actually. Well, you can cut the top of the old Mustang out and put it on the... What? <laughs> what? It fits. You just cut it right here. Wait a minute, dude. Wait a minute, bro. You like that? What up? Can't even fit it. Tell you right here. Cut along the blue. Cut the blue out. That thing will sit right over coming yeah. out. Yeah. Oh, that's not a bad idea. It actually that would be, is that would be pretty cool. On the next episode. For Ford. Oh no, dude. I'll, I'll leave the side dams and the wing and everything on, and just cut yeah. it right Blast here. It. Yeah. <laughs> so it fits in the original spot. I'm really <laughs> bitch it up. I might have to have one of your bodies up, Paul. I think that'll look awesome, dude. The Mustang boat. Paul's getting into boats now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was actually just the perfect width. Um, so, yeah, as you can see, I, I constructed, I took the old box out, and I constructed just kind of a, not only a strengthening plate, but a deck to, you know, mount some stuff onto in, in the steering servo and stuff, uh, just out of some, some uh, quarter-inch thick nylon plastic. Same thing I used with the with the motor mount here. I just screwed it to the sides and then epoxied the whole thing it. down. Um, and did he? Yep. <laughs> um, and I actually, the man sitting to the left of me is my prop polisher. And as you can see, <laughs> <laughs> as you can see, got magic hands. These props. <laughs> Are absolutely gorgeous. That's the UL19 prop. This is he, and he, <laughs> it was the pot, the the one that was on it. It was dull. It looked like an old, Dolan like fitted. brown penny. And this is what he did to it. He polished it and sharpened it, and and it's just it, the thing ripped. So, um, yeah, Ricky, I'm, I got my new prop, and I just got my three S's. So I want to rematch. I want, I want that UL19 title. Um, no, it's a really cool wait boat, though. My, get, wait till I get my, my uh, catamaran. Um, all, all said and done, I probably put um, as much into this boat money-wise as I probably would have if I just bought a $400 boat, yeah. $450 boat. Yeah, but you would have bought but a boat it, done. I wanted something that was unique. Somebody, and I've never, ever seen one of these converted into electric. Um, and the thing just handles like it's on rails. And this is this is a pretty big boat. I mean, this thing, this thing's pretty big. It's 32 inch. Yeah, it's engine. 32 inch boat, and it's uh, you know, I mean, for a hundred bucks, just even if it was just the hull, I still have the the motor and everything out of it. So if anybody's got one of these that needs a motor, let me know. I got a brand new one. Um, but yeah, the boat was like brand new. So I have an Aquacraft boat for sale soon here. As soon as I get my other boat. Um, yeah. So I just wanted to. I thought that was cool. I just wanted to show that off because I'm proud of it. It was a lot of work just to convert it, but, uh, um, just to find parts to be able to convert it. Yeah. So again, what did we take away from, uh, this, this episode? Um, <laughs> the rules again, um, you know, how much work it goes into to building one of these NPRC cars. 
Um, it's a lot of work. Um, and yeah, it's been a freaking long week, man. Um, we'd love to, we want to start getting back into more technical stuff and how to stuff. Just to water. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it roll, baby. <laughs> well, it's clean water. Well, ready to go. Is that duck poop? <laughs> <laughs> duck pee poop. Whatever um, fish pee poop. Pee poop. Um, wow, dude. Oh my God. Yeah, we're, we're turning it's into that other show now. <laughs> um, but yeah. We, we, <laughs> um, it's been a long week, man. And I think that we're probably just going to sign off early tonight. Um, we'll probably end up going live again next Friday. I want to, I really want to come up with some more good tech videos, guys. So, um, you know, reach out with ideas, and a lot of you have, but a lo uh, I'm, I'm assuming that a majority of some of the people that have reached out um, with, with some ideas for the show, I'm like, yeah, we already did a video on that. Yeah, we already did a video on that. Um, so, you know, if you've watched the videos and you haven't seen something there, um, that's kind of what we're after. Um, I don't want to... I don't want to repeat something we've already done. Eventually, we're going to have to go over tech as tech changes or enough time goes by. Um, but Some stuff will change. Yeah. Um, so reach out to me with any kind of uh, any tech interest for future uh, episodes, um, uh, either uh, through my, my personal uh, messenger on Facebook um, or, or through 707, one way or the other. Um, we want to we want to give the people what we want. You know, I, I think the first this has been a lot. Twenty episodes, you guys, has been a lot of work. I mean, uh, you know, that's over six hundred dollars in pizzas. That's you know, <laughs> endless endless hours of spending good time with your friends. I mean, cases um, of ginger ale we're drinking at this table, right? I know, <laughs> right? Um, oh my god, a lot. Um, the the following that we've brought the people that we've helped through these videos I, I, it's just hard to think that it's been 20 of them already um i mean is this what letterman felt like you know <laughs> um so we want to continue to help people but i'm at a point to where we've covered the basics in the first 20 and now we want to start you know getting some feedback from some of you guys out there that are that are battling in the streets all day long with these grudge cars um, something that you want elaborated on or, or something that you haven't figured out um, and, and maybe we can help you with. Uh, we, could do a, we could do a show about it. So, What's the next uh, race? Jason, chime in on uh, when, what time the Reno race is. There's, uh, I think it's 8 or 9 o'clock. It's early. Yeah. yeah. Ricky says he's going to go live at the races. Paul says mounting a shark, a shark body. <laughs> if I don't knock over the... Shark body to a boat. That's a great show. <laughs> shark body to a boat. Hey, I like the boat, man. The boat's sweet. It's almost got the perfect shape for the bat boat. If I painted it all black, put a big bat insignia on the front of it. Um, I have a good story uh, about this. What boat is that boat or boat Thank I'm you. selling? Thank you, Jimmy. Is it the B-hole? Yeah, it's the B-hole. It's the, uh, the red one? No, no, the Aquacraft. The, uh, the one that I read. I remember the red and yellow one because I drove it. That's the shark. The angry shark. Angry shark. I love that thing. You got your bunnies in there, Emma? No. <laughs> there, She's boy. just hanging out in the grab the cage. And, I, and as you go by, you can slowly go by the camera with them. Oh, there was uh, Angelo asking if we're going to the uh, the race in... Uh, I can't remember who... Uh, it's, What's the hobby shop in um, San Jose? Um, San Jose Hobby? No. no. <laughs> That's it. We're done. Oh, my God. <laughs> got, it's Fred to Jamie. Oh, my gosh. No, it's already there. There's a race on the 25th. Anyway, it's a Saturday, 25th. He's asking if we're going to try to make it. If I don't have anybody coming, if I sell my house by then or don't have any, don't have any showings, Ben, I'll, I'm going to try and we'll make go. it down there. We'll yeah, take, yeah, yeah, I'm down there. I'm taking the up 150 over there. NorCal. Right? NorCal Hobbies. That's it. I don't know how okay. I can mix that. Forget that one, but yeah, NorCal Hobbies has a race <laughs> on the 26th. <laughs> you sell the bunny by it. <laughs> um, uh, my boat is a... What the heck is that thing? I already forgot. It's a Aquacraft Revolt 29 is what it is. It's 29 inch? So it's, yeah. a good, it's a good sized boat. It'll run on 4S. What did we say this was? A 32? 32, yeah. Yeah, so it's it's right there. It's only an inch or two or three inches three inches shorter. shorter yeah. Three inches shorter, yeah. 
Dude, the more I think about it, the more I like I do like the, the air scoop, so it really keeps it cool in there. Um, yeah, water gets in, water gets in. Hmm. But um, anyway, yeah, so uh, we got some races coming up. Yeah, I'll totally go to San Jose and race. Um, especially my Sacramento buddies now. My new buddies are going to be there. Uh, Will and uh and otis and uh chris will probably come down chris silva he goes to all of them um yeah actually chris chris beat me in a grudge race last weekend uh and took 20 bucks from me and i and i signed it for him he wanted me to sign it i was very very flattered i was like okay i'm like what, what's this for and he's like oh i just want to put i just want to put it my on my trophy case so i'm like oh that, that that's that means a lot to me you know what i'm saying well he didn't have to work well i guess he did have to work for it um all I gotta do, all I gotta tell people is the tires are working now. So, <laughs> um, she's a the the. Oh yeah. The gunslinger is a damn near carbon copy of the ghost. It is the sister car. It was the number two car that was built right after it, um, and she's fast as hell. She's right there. I think that. Uh, I'm hoping in the next couple races when I have to face off with them, I'm hoping the way she's sitting right now after I figured out the tire thing that she'll rival the ghost. So um, I don't know. The ghost is really fast. So one car I have to, it's funny. The one car I have to worry about in the upcoming future is the car that I sold. It was my car. I want to get beat by my own car. <laughs> that would really suck. <laughs> but I know Ricky's going to go, ha ha, you know, <laughs> uh, it's a good car and Ricky's a good racer. Uh, I can't think of anybody else I'd rather have driving it. Um, we should do some off-the-wall stuff and just do a whole show on just boats. Like, solely boats. Why not? Yeah, we can do that. We got enough boats between the, the three, or bring David in with his boat, two boats. Oh, yeah, boats. David, you know would be in. cool? We got four I'll boats. I'll up you one during the week. Oh, I'll have three boats. During the Actually, oh. I have four boats. I have my tugboat. I can bring yeah, the ugly duck. Tugboat. Bring Homie. it. I can bring the ugly duck. Homie's got a tugboat. Okay. It's called the ugly <laughs> duck. Um, I'll one up you though. In the beginning of the week, Drag we'll races. announce that the show is going to start earlier, and we'll do it at Roberts Lake. We'll bring out a table and go yeah. live right there, That'd and we cool. throw them in the water. <laughs> yeah, that would be cool. That would be bitching. Uh, if anybody would like to see some some boat <laughs> racing on one of the shows, uh, just something to break up the monotony. To, to to be like, man, they always do drag racing, but this shit's pretty cool. You know, uh, 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 I'm totally into that. That's why we go up front and drag race. You know, stuff. The we, El Camino. Well, we yeah, we drag race El Camino. We drag race my. Uh, my um my razor uh and rc has always won so um the next i have a lot of people see that say they want to see the new <laughs> f-150 what's up uh, got matt kid telling uh will smith go to bed and he and, will and smith so his name is, 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 is he, he told <laughs> matt he told matt no i gotta finish my white claw <laughs> wow Wow. <laughs> Next on White Claw Wars. <laughs> no, I need to drink a truly. Six boats. Dang. Yeah. Uh, Gabe, our race master, has a bunch of boats, too. He has a bunch of big catamarans. Yeah. Dual motor. Some pretty trick boats. Um, yeah. For me, when it comes to the boats, the catamarans, just, this is what, that's what this is. It's a, it's very, very similar to a V-hole, except for the V-hole's been split down the center and moved away, and it has this raised portion. It's called a catamaran. Um, and these boats handle like there's rails under the water that they're on it's ridiculous how they handle yeah um it, i mean they, they the way they can cut a turn in the water it's just like I'll tell you what that thing cannot cut a turn as good as the angry shark what's the angry shark the orange and red one the yellow and red one well we'll have to test that i'm telling you that thing will turn 180 on itself um well the only thing i don't like about the bee holes is when you do dig them like that in the water there's so much leaning going on well you, you know you lose all your momentum too and yeah you know, this boat everything. doesn't do that it just kind of no. stays flat yeah. it, it just it's, pivots like this uh it doesn't lean in the water and that, that's, that's definitely I, something to, when you go from a v-hole to watching a catamaran you're like that doesn't look right yeah the whole boat just goes like this it doesn't feel right <laughs> you yank that wheel it you know coming down off a 50 mile an hour straight shot and you go like, goes it, it just turns. It, 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 yeah. it doesn't skip. Yeah. It doesn't it do just anything. Goes like that. It, it doesn't just turns. Whole turns. <laughs> um, what I need oh. to do is I need to get some stainless steel fins off the bottom to really make the cut hard. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, but you have to be careful where you place them and how big they are and how deep they are in the water. And Like the old 19S1 underneath the front. Yeah. It's kind of a 
catamaran kind of a hydrofoil. Well, I think that like the hybrid, I well, guess. I don't know. They used, back in the day, they used to do oval racing at that lake. And that's how you knew that a guy was an oval racer is he had a fin on that left side. Almost like a like like the the big the big wing on a sprint car is always on the left side. You know, it's the same thing, but it's in the water instead of in the air. You know, um, but yeah, they're, the boats are fun. So, um, outriggers are the best. I've seen those. There's a couple of videos I was watching. They're racing outrigger boat. Those things were insanely fast. I had I I, I, yeah. I shit you not. That was the fastest RC boat I've ever seen in my life. Was I had one. I had crazy. I had a I had a Dumas outrigger with a um, I want to say it was a 3.5 B&M outboard motor. So the gas motor was up on top of this big, huge, you know, cast aluminum uh, with a flex. Outdrive, and it was, it was the whole motor, were, you know, and it freaking moved. It moved out, dude. Uh, that thing probably did 70 or 80 miles an hour. It was almost too much on the water. Um, it was really, and you could not run it in any chop at all. It had to, even once you made a loop, you kind of had to slow down and wait for your own chop to kind of go away. You know, it was, it was sketchy, but, um, hundred and hit Oh yeah. <laughs> so hello in real, in real life beats the hell out of, out of your, beats the hell out of yourself with boat. Oh yeah. Adam ran, no probably. suspension. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, I do a lot of ocean fishing. <laughs> 40 mile an hour. Yeah. Hitting, even 20, 15 hitting some of the, hitting some of the. The crappy water it's not lakes it's just rough water it hurts you have, um, to, you have to be ready for it like, is there any questions jarring. about race wars or rules um when's your next list race our next list race is next, next weekend not this coming weekend weekend after yeah so not, not tomorrow and sunday but the next the next weekend so tomorrow well, sunday's crawler sunday uh, yeah sunday's crawler sunday yep uh charlie we'll charlie uh is putting on a second sunday here in sonoma county um, he does all the crawler stuff, um, and man, do we have just like we have the the group of drag racers. We have a hell of a group. I've been out there a couple times with my daughter uh, and the rock crawlers, um, and there's just a lot of families and, and guys that show up with their kids, and it's just it's a really cool event. So um, if you're in Sonoma County, you're around the the the, uh, the outer great area of Sonoma County, um, come in. Um, and what is the Sonoma County Sonoma County Crawlers? Sonoma County Crawlers Facebook page. He always um, lets everybody know where, where they're crawling at. Like and join that, and you'll see uh, on your live feed, you know exactly when and where stuff is going to be. Flat Rock's a big one up in Santa Rosa. Flat Rock's a really really cool place. Um, but they go out to Bodega Head, out to the beach. That place is probably my favorite. Ever. You've been out there, right? Yeah. Up the up the mountain yeah, there, like, and then like, all the dunes, yeah. and yeah, it's it's just badass. So um, super cool place. But, um, yeah, so go over to the Sonoma County Crawlers. Uh, if you're a crawler guy or you want to be, you know, a crawler guy and you're thinking about getting a crawler and, and, and ask some questions and, and check out Charlie and the gang. Um, and uh, I, I have we... seen some of the, the, the Oxy, Oxygen, Oxygen Marine boats. Those things, they're so, they look, they're some high, higher end boats. They're really Will, nice. Will Smith says, who's the biggest threat from out of town you know that's showing up to race wars? Uh, to me personally, nobody. Um, as far as fast guys that are going to be in that race, I don't know. There's going to be a lot. We got people coming, I think, from Arizona and Texas and Hawaii, and I mean, we got we got people coming from all over the country. Um, so it, it's it's anybody's race. It they really all have is. Stars. Um, and I'm going to see to it, come hell or high water, that everybody has the fair and exact same chance in the race. Uh, that the race runs really smoothly and it's very, very uh, uh, bipartisan. Um, and it's, it's, it's just kind of, uh, it just, it works really good for everybody and everybody feels really good about it. So, um, whatever. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> um, but yeah, race wars is. <laughs> Car what? Yeah. We, oh yeah, yeah. Probably my yeah, for me my own car. Yeah. Uh, it's not my car though. It's Ricky's car. I decided to. Uh, that was the last time people thought I was getting out of it because I was selling the ghost. I was selling the ghost to get the money to build a new car. Um, and there was a, I think not only then but now there there's an intimidation factor that comes with that car. I won so many races with that car. That car was undefeated almost every race it went to. Um, and, and, 
and it was a big jump for me. Um, there's a small little part of me that still regrets it, but it was uh, part of moving on and forcing myself to try new stuff. So, um, is your buddy going crazy over there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Any other questions? I can hear crickets. Literally. <laughs> right? For real. <laughs> Um, no other questions. Yeah. So, uh, we don't want to bore anybody. We're going to end this short tonight. You guys, it's been a long week for all of us between my mom and him with the house and traveling. And I'm sure Jamie's got going on and Rick's gone. Um, you know, thanks again for following us guys. Um, in the next day or two, you'll be able to find this video up on, on our YouTube. Um, if you're new and you haven't heard this, you didn't know about it. I know there's a lot of guys out there that haven't. We have a YouTube page. It's not called 707 Streetcars. It's called Streetcars of the 707. And uh, go on there. Please subscribe. Get a friend to subscribe. As soon as we can get a 1,000, we can start going live from there. Um, and that's what we want to do. So what's that? Awesome. How's the ginger ale? Oh, you did get a ginger ale. <laughs> uh, no, uh, you know what? You want to hear something, Will? This is actually a ginger ale that came from that race last weekend. That, <laughs> that's what I've been surviving off of, you know. And I think if the if if if, if a nuclear fallout ever happened, I'd need 308 shells, some jackets, the keys to my pickup, and a, my guns and a bunch of ginger ale. That's all I would need to survive. <laughs> <laughs> is there any way to get the slop out of the axles? Um, the Traxxas ones. So I'm assuming. Um, there's not, it's, uh, Ricky Reed. No, there's not Ricky. Um, run with this. yeah, the, 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 the Traxxas doesn't have, you know, I mean, let's, you know, I run Traxxas stuff, so you can't say I'm bagging on, um, but Traxxas has, and always was started out is, 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 is a, is a, is a company that was throwing their, their branding and their advertisement at the biggest, um, uh, audience that they could and the biggest audience they could was a cheap affordable something for you and your kids to go to a local hobby shop buy two or three of them um, and in that they 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 didn't build stuff with with a lot of exact tolerances um, and unfortunately no matter what bearings you go or whatever if you're using these axles that we run or we, we told you to run because they're light and they're strong and you can't break them excuse me um there is some wiggle in the axles there's wiggles there's a little bit of wiggle and everything universal. Um, the difference is to know your wiggle and know when it's too much wiggle and to change a bearing out because you've blown you've blown a bearing or something like that. Um, does it suck? Yeah, it's one thing I like about the associated cars. They're more of associated always came from more of a racing background um, and their tolerances are tighter and the stuff's you know a lot less wobblier. Um, um, but yeah, the the rear wheels on my car have a little wobble to them uh, even with brand new bearings in them. So it just is it's nature of the beast. Uh, somebody asked about going to Oklahoma. Oklahoma? I don't know what's going on in Oklahoma, Dan I, Matthews. I would love to go out to Oklahoma, but you know what? Right now, it's just not a very good time. <laughs> probably get a cheap flight. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. Be quarantined in the bank. Yeah. Uh, uh, how we're going to uh, open up uh, the message form on the. 707 street cars for questions i don't know we're gonna have to look into it with ricky ricky was the one that, that got it all online for us and then um uh i think there is a way to change it so it has the little circle that says message just like your personal uh, uh facebook page does um and then us three being admins of the of the page we'd all see it in a, in a, in a group text now whether or not that would mean our all of our phones would be going off all the time Yep. Um, uh, my stuff, I, I don't get notifications, and my stuff's on silent all the time. So I just <laughs> get it when I open it up. It makes a difference to me. Yeah, but uh, you know, that's you guys. We really, really encourage you. If you're just getting into this, I know I missed. Sorry. No, I thought you. If, if you're just getting into this and you were just well aware, or you didn't know until I told you right now. We have a, a YouTube page where this is our 20th episode, and we've covered everything from tires to suspension to gears to speed control tuning to soldering to I mean, just about everything. So. Uh, if you're new into this and you really, really want to do yourself a favor to get on the right track, start at episode one and watch them all. Um, you know, yeah, we do a little goofing around. Sometimes we go outside and, and pick a drag race with a real car passing by or something stupid like that. But uh, it's always it's always racing involved. There's always something uh, 
to learn from it. So, so there is a race in in Tulsa, Oklahoma, August first. Looks like uh, a couple guys from uh, Michigan are going to make it out to Tulsa. Okay, so it might be a pretty big race. Well, unless the damn country goes to a so second lockdown. Yeah, which is always possible. It's on the verge. Yeah. What are you doing? It says, now that Associated is stepping up their game, why aren't other big big players building a car? We don't know that they're not. Exactly. I mean, um, the I heard big, rumors the, two months ago that the, the other, other ones that are really big, Traxxas was the first in the game because they've been – it, there's been drag stuff for Traxxas for but wheelie Technically, bars, they've never made no. a box kit that is a, an NPRC drag car. Uh, Traxxas, Traxxas, if you're watching, reach out to me, man. I'm the dude that's put this together, and this car is just an awesome formula. We can get together and, and, and cut some kind of deal, and, and you guys can bring – if I could just be brought in on an R&D project with you guys – uh, and, and help you guys using the right parts and the right geometry to get it right the first time out of the box. Um, please get a, somebody get a hold of me, and I would love to do that. You know, um, I guess I've been under a rock because there's a huge race August first in Tulsa, Oklahoma. <laughs> yeah, the rock's called Oregon. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't want to go back already. I had a guy reach out to me. He's like, "Hey, dude." I hate to bug you with a question because I know you get hundred dollars. That's how everybody starts their messages, which is, which exactly. is very respectful. Exactly. Some guys are like, "Hey, dude, I don't care what you're doing. Hey, check this out." And I'm like, I might have what? a stupid. I might have a stupid question. Yeah, that's why I go. I might have and a stupid question. That, no, and that's okay. Stupid questions aren't stupid. They're questions. Um, a guy reached out to me and said, "Yeah, I gotta ask you." He said, "What is that white thing that you're constantly putting in your mouth?" And I'm like, <laughs> "I'm like, uh, it's Zen." So what this is is a fully biodegradable sugar packet that has a little bit of nicotine in it. Doesn't make me spit. Doesn't make me. So you don't my go when Nick fits. Yeah, my, my my teeth don't go brown because it's chew. I chewed for a little while when I got off the of cigarettes. I've been a non-smoker for a little over four years now. It happened a couple weeks ago, which is awesome. Um, and I was a smoker when I was building race cars. When I was smoking two packs a day, running with the devil. <laughs> that was well, too Paul, with pencils. Paul says sorry, man. Traxxas, Traxxas is against Canada Dry. I don't know, really. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh, well, maybe it's a time that we, you know, we, we move on from whatever those differences are. Um, Put our differences aside. Oh, that could be the body from Traxxas, like they do the John Force one. They could do the, yeah, the Daniel Judd Cook and the Canada Dry drag car. That would be awesome. I'd be down. I'd drive a green car. Randy, it's actually not a bad idea. Randy has an orange crush car. I do. He did. It's El Camino. He's still I in still my. Body. He's still in my phone from last season when I first still met Randy. I'm really bad with names, so I always do association. Like, uh, take it for instance, three years ago when I got on with the city of Nevada, there was instantaneously 150 people that I had to remember their names, and they only had one name to remember. So I walked around. I'm like, okay, that old dude with long hair. That's really <laughs> Nelson. <laughs> there's this, there's this really, there's this really tall dude that, that that's on the that's on the lawnmowers. Uh, older dude, his name's Rod. I call him Rod Stewart. Um, uh, yeah, I, ha I had a name for everybody, um, and it helped me learn the names. So, I remember people's cars usually. Yeah, that's how I you remember who they so are. So Randy is Not still names, but at least still to this day in my phone as Randy Orange Crush. <laughs> that's <laughs> what. That was the first. That might have been the first body with the new chassis. After I went from went from the the DR10, the V4 based one, with the truck body. I just bought another DR10, another associated car. I guess you could say that. I bought the the DB10 Reflex uh, Paddle Edition. Uh, I want to go out to the beach. I want to go. I I yeah, grab me that tire right there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And this is what we're running here, guys. So um, I, I built a paddle car years and years ago. It was back when we were using brush technology, and I had the, the best time of my life out at the beach for about nine minutes before the motor got so hot the soldering joints came off. Um, and then a the car just sat. It eventually got disassembled or something like that. But uh, I've been wanting to get back into it for years. And with today's technology, it's a no-brainer, especially since they've sizzled it down over at Team Associated for 300 bucks or 340 bucks or whatever it is. Um, you can buy a, it's basically, it's the exact same thing as a DR10. It has the same motor, same speed control, same everything. But instead of drag wheels and a drag body and wheelie bars, um, it is a dune buggy that has, it, so it's but so it short. Uh, what's that? It has full width, the, D, the DB10. It's the truck width, yeah. yeah the yeah. DB10 has the V5 arms. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Um, the narrator, the, the 
the D Pro SC10, Trophy Rat, DB10, DR10, all exactly the same chassis. Well, I don't know. Whatever you call it, that right there really, really makes the hair on my neck stand up. That just looks like it's going to be so much fun at the beach. So um, they also work really good in snow, too. So if you're from an area in the country, uh, check out Associated. They have a, a short course truck that I'm basically, this is like a sand dune buggy. Um, and I'm going to reposition. I've seen it in the videos, and it's just a wheelie monster. So I'm going to I'm going to shove the battery forward and add some weight and add a little bit more power and add some fans to it and put a just a big flat piece of carbon fiber with no wheels or anything, just something that brushes brushes on the sand like this to keep it from from wheeling. Uh, and I'm going to go out and see how I want to do 70 down the beach line, you know, with people with dogs. I know, I know, a, guy that, I know a guy that has a uh, already cut carbon fiber. Uh, carbon fiber plate that bolts directly to the bottom of a, of a db10 who's that me that I was know. my first wheelie bar i built huh. the flat bar I, I mounted a oh yeah yeah, yeah. i remember on. that that'll work perfect yeah <laughs> but the only problem with that is i want you to take one of your old associated cars and buy some of these stairs. um i do have i do have too. my first drag car still my it's back to a truck i was running it yeah i was running at the, the I'm, level, uh, I'm telling you dude this is gonna be awesome you know what i'm saying it's got a I think a sidewinder just because it came with one of the cars i had no that'll be perfect especially because we're going out there like i was thinking okay the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna rip the that that, that 33 kb i want to put a you know a, at least an xr 10 pro or something in it and a 5.5 or something that just really gets down but then i was like well, wait a minute i'm just gonna run 3s in it that would be the cheapest just keep it the way yeah. it is and just put a 3s in it so i went down to jake's and i bought some 3s's this week and i'm waiting for my truck to come in but um yeah i want to get out to the beach and do this so anybody locally that wants to do this we're going to get this started uh, maybe we'll do the first weekend of the month or the, the fourth weekend of the month and we'll go out to the beach and, and we'll set up some some stakes uh, in the sand and we'll measure out 132 feet and do some do some drag racing on the sand. So um, that could also be something to show once I get it and get it dialed in and stuff. We have a little sand lot over here. We could go over and run it and we could, you know. Um, I'll put these on the gunslinger. I'm trying to think where the thing where else. <laughs> I'm trying to think where else there was sand at. It's not far off that. It... Just go drop the car and run. There is, I don't know what kind of game it is, but there's these pits over here at this park that are 100 feet long, and they're two lanes, and they're like 12 feet wide, and it's sand. And I'm like, uh, hello? That's plenty enough for a 66-foot run, an eighth mile, and then, and then a cool-down period. We could go, and it's already, I mean, it's got nice borders. It's like like these huge sandboxes. It's like a bocce ball court or something? I don't, I don't know. Huge bocce ball court. I don't think they're that big. I don't know, but um, I'm going to start doing some of this drag. So, so if anybody's uh, wants to wants to tag along and get into this stuff. I guess it's only a pair of tires I'll need to buy because I already got a full car. Um, yeah. See, that, that's another thing, too, is, you know, I got a lot of people chiming in right now saying, hey, do some more stuff on the boat or just, well, we didn't know you guys wanted to see that. Nobody's, you know, we have all kinds of, or we could bring the, we can do a live show. My buddy has a full off-road track a half mile down the road behind his muffler shop, and we can, we can race eight scale buggies and go over what we do in other areas. We can go out to the lake and, uh, you know, if you guys are interested in more RC stuff than just this, um, we can rip around some drift cars. We'll yeah, we can do, cars. I got some drift cars. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I got the so my drift car looks like um, National Lampoon. Yeah, he's got the, the station green wagon station wagon green. with the Woody. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah so that might be a long jump pit, maybe. Yeah, maybe maybe that's what it is—a long jump pit. Okay. Yeah, because I don't think bocce board bocce ball is not that big. It's not played in the sand though. It's kind of sandy. And well, I guess it's not sandy. We just like made like rock uh, public works just constructed like eight new bocce ball courts down in Nevada, and they're they're all freaking asphalt. Asphalt? Yeah. No way. Yeah. Are you sure I, that's bocce ball, I, not I like shuffleboard? No, they're bocce ball courts. Bocce ball is like you play in dirt or rock. I don't know. I don't know what bocce ball there's is. One in, oh. There's one in a park in Sebastopol that was behind my apartments before I moved. Oh, it was Super Playground? Yeah, it was bocce ball. It was like dirt, sand, rock. So it sounds like the consensus, maybe I'll make a post during the week about that. Um, it sounds like the consensus may be that people just want to see some badass RC stuff. Um, and I have some pretty badass RC stuff. That's the only kind of RC stuff I go with. Um, so, yeah, maybe we'll, we'll branch out and do some stuff. And Ricky, you know, he's part of 707. He's not here right now. But 
you know, Ricky's got boats, he's got sprint cars, he's got, you know, eight scale buggies. He's, he's into it just like we are. So, um, I think that's something we could, we should totally pull off that. That actually kind of takes a little pressure off me because that just floods the ideas for stuff we could do for the show. Oh, um, and I haven't, anything. I haven't run out of ideas because every week that goes by, I come up with something new, whether it be last minute or pre-calculated. But when it comes to just these drag cars, <laughs> That sounds like a good trip to jail there, Paul. The drones that spy in people's windows. <laughs> you creepy creeper. <laughs> uh, no, we're not going to do that. Um, I don't even remember what I was saying. Uh, but as far as um, as far as branch down to other RC stuff, man, the sky's the limit, you guys. I mean, why just, you know, that's actually a good idea. Why just be drag racing? Why not become not just only a RC, premier drag racing RC, RC show, RC, but period. yeah, a premier uh, just RC show. So that um, definitely would be live. Oh yeah. It's all going to be live. Um, yeah, that would be really cool. So um, last week, uh, Ricky was here and Randy wasn't. Uh, Emma, a couple more minutes. Okay, baby, please. Okay. You have my phone over there. Check it out. Okay. Okay. You need to rip all the feathers off your boa? Um, no. Or is it shedding? Ricky was here last week and Randy was gone and we did episode 19. It was kind of a goofball session, but we had a lot of fun. Um, and we got to figure out because we went live off of my phone. My phone did the whole thing. Yay. Nice. Um, That's a first. Right? <laughs> um, and uh, we got to figure out how to get that one off of streetcars and so onto YouTube. I'm here to intimidate it. Oh, that's me because it's the only time this never worked when I've been here. You got a bully phone? <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Um, I wonder if these just on the back with the drag car and the sand would work just flat. Uh, I wonder if it'd make it want to steer. It is yeah, like a rudder. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you're right. It's got to be flat. And if it's flat, then it'll, if it gets off plane, it'll want to pull it. It'll want to, yeah, straighten it back out. Yeah, so this one's going out of country, guys. This is oh, going to be really cool. Drone racing, to be honest, says Paul. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's called Creepy Drone Wars. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that's you, Bob. Yeah. <laughs> um, you could film me yourself running with your drone as you're getting chased by somebody else. Dude, these tires are just wicked. I mean, I've had paddle tires in the rear, but I just I haven't had some in so long that I'm just like mesmerized by it. I love wheels. I like how they're actually pretty pretty stiff too. They are. They're pretty. They're not pretty soft. Not like a really soft rubber. You get them out in the heat though, spinning in the oh, hot sand. Soft. Yeah, they're gonna get soft. So. Grab me uh, an NPRC wheel over behind that bag. That's next to that bag. Show me some wheels and tires. Emma. Emma, look out. Because if you look at this and you pretend that these aren't there, it is a drag tire. Here you go. Do you want one of Oh, it is taller. So the actual tire portion of it, it's about the same size. Oh, but that's right there is all it takes to go from an NPRC oh, car. Oh, Paul can't handle the heat. The table's turned. He can't handle it. So no, no body, body for me if I keep ripping on him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who's got the upper hand there, huh? <laughs> you tell me I'm gonna have to get a uh, rails that J concept body, the uh, Grand National body. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um. No, I did not find a race in Oregon. I was actually preoccupied with, uh, we actually did some quad stuff, and uh, my buddy has a race truck, so we did a ripping around the race truck. Uh, his property backs uh, BLM, Bureau of Land Management property. Nice. And uh, so it's kind of free range. You go out there, shoot, go out there, four wheel, pretty much just do whatever you want out there. And just yeah, because he was, was telling badass. me that. I'm like, I'm like, BLM, where were you at? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. But as you can see, I mean, it's basically a drag tire with just paddles on it. I'm still on the tires. <laughs> oh, that's hurtful. <laughs> that's hurtful. Oh, Paul. All right, guys. Well, we're going to sign off then. Uh, you know, episode 20. Thanks for following us, guys. Reach out to us if you guys need anything, have any questions or whatnot, I guess. Yeah, just, uh, you know, Randy does a pretty good job at labeling the videos on YouTube. So before you ask a question, if you're new into this, go to... Streetcars of the 707, subscribe. Get 10 friends to subscribe if you can. Um, and, uh, and and look at the video headings and see if there's something there in that video that might might help you out. If not, and we haven't gone over it, then, then ask away. 
Um, we want to help everybody out. So, um, yeah, when Ricky gets back, we'll, we'll talk about maybe putting some different shows together with some different aspects of hey, RC. Hey, yeah. um, and that's what makes it fun to us. That's why we have so much different stuff. We like to break the monotony up. We, you know? Maybe we can get uh, Ricky, because Ricky said he was getting, looking, at, looking into getting a drone. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. Um, oh my. We'll strap my phone to. Evidently, we'll Paul's on board with this. We'll strap my phone to his drone and take it up in the Why? air. I have, a, I have a. Phone. But it doesn't go live. I take my phone uh, live and just take uh, offline with the sucker. That would be cool. You got insurance? If it crashes. Yeah, I do. <laughs> um, yeah, they're, they're the 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 possibilities. And you know who's probably the best drone drone driver I've ever met is Charlie. Charlie's pretty good. Pretty good at driving those drones. Um. There was that guy that raced with us a couple times. I think his name was Dave. Shorter guy. He had a Dodge truck. He, he brought out FPV goggles and a little race drone. He oh, yeah, yeah. Well, with, once or twice. Was, he was pretty good. Yeah, but he it was... flew underneath his truck with just goggles on and flew underneath his truck. It was, it was pretty crap. sketch having a, having a drone that, right, right that above us. Yeah, yeah, right above us uh, over the starting line. It was it was chase. It was pretty cool watching it chase because he had a couple, he had an extra pair of FPV goggles. And too. no matter how good he you are, though, you have a mechanical failure and that thing oh, like, yeah. ends up at 40 miles an hour in some 11-year-old kid's face, that's not going to be nice, dude. Um, so, yeah. But, yeah, we, we like to do all drag drum racing. racing. <laughs> Oh, Drag you. drone racing. I do have a race drone. I bought. I don't know why I bought because I. I just, no, I don't know. Way. I have can't them, fly it. Have them hovering three or four feet off the ground. And just take off. And, wow. and yeah, and with the green light and everything, dude. Um, drones, drones, RC cars. Probably RC drones. drones all is. It might have been. It might have been that guy, Gabe. The molten purple chicken. Um, <laughs> Gabe's in there. Yeah. He What's did. up, Gabe? Off yeah, I think it was Roberts and Gonzalez Gabe. Yeah, he's he's pretty good. Um, he was ripping around. A under, couple times, trucks. A couple times it crap. ripped by us. I was like, dude. I said that was pretty. That was like a foot above my head. Okay. I could feel the wind in my ear. Oh man, yeah. It, it, uh, well, when you're trying to concentrate, you hear this big old thing. You know, can hurt you buzzing around. It's hard to concentrate on your race. You know. It do um, what it do. Gabe. Yeah. Um, yeah, so uh, we're going to branch out. Gabe, I don't know if Gabe's been with us the whole time. I don't think so. He might have just popped on because it said. Uh, um, we're going to branch out and do some other stuff. Maybe we might go do a live show like on the lake with the boats. Um, we're down at Kelly's. Boats, Gabe, boats. Or, or Kelly's. Uh, off-road uh, off road track with the eight scale buggies or I mean there's just there's endless possibilities and, and I think a lot of other people just want to see a cool show a lot of, let alone not just not just drag racing oh, so damn. it was a pro spot is a pro 3d help helo pilot sponsored by Groppner. wow damn I like the boat drag racing idea that's good <laughs> boat yeah drag racing. Boat I think drag they used racing. to have boat racing somewhere I can't remember oh. I think it might have been in Roberts Lake <laughs> Boats drag race. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. <laughs> um, oh. I'm down boats, boats and buggies. buggies. <laughs> boats and buggies. I'm going to make a dirty song about that. Boats You'd have to bring a boat out this time, Gabe. Don't put the wrong battery in the wrong boat. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, Oh, I think Gabe did that last time we came out. He did. Out with his, Two boats. With his buggy. Oh, the boats, too? <laughs> Two boats. He did that. Because he did it with the buggies, too, when he came really? out to Kelly's one morning. Yeah. I don't um, oh. I know he did it to the boat. I thought he fried his speed control that morning. I don't remember. I don't remember. He definitely did in the boat. Maybe that's what I was thinking about. Put a 6S battery in, or a 4S battery in his 2S, 3S boat, or something like that. <laughs> well, we need to sign off. Um, <laughs> thank you to everybody who supports us. Um, <laughs> hey, easy. I was very hungover. <laughs> that was his. That was his immediate go-to. I'm a little hungover. That's so. his mo. <laughs> um, you guys keep RCN. Keep your minds off all the bull crap that's happening in the country right now. It will all. Boats. It will all come clean in the laundry. Um, it'll all be gone after the after yeah. election. Don't worry. Yeah, come the election, <laughs> COVID will be gone. Um. <sighs> Yeah. Um, so yeah, let's sign off. Uh, thanks everybody for following us. Um, episode twenty in the books. Catch you on the flip side. Yeah, catch you on the flippity flip, and maybe next week we'll do something a little different. Um, go break some shit. Yeah, we'll go break some shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Yeah, you know, it just dawned on me. That makes a really awesome. Okay, say bye. Bye. Bye.